Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing mathematical tool and uh, this is a video lecture number three. I hope you have already watched part one to part two before watching this part three. But in this lecture, this is a phrase for uh, algebra. So in this lecture, we will discuss about the algebra and uh, the application of algebra in physics. And what is uh, useful for in physics that we are going to discuss here algebra. So in algebra, we are going to discuss today what we will discuss today about uh, in algebra. So let me explain this. In algebra, basic thing is that you should know some basic formula. First of all, what you have studied in class 9th or 10th that is a plus b if there are two variables then a plus b square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square you may be thinking that uh, uh, we know already all this definitely you have know all these things but uh, here as this is a review of previous one and here you can write a minus b whole square and plus 4ab that can be also written as a plus b whole square minus 4ab right? so these are the two formulas which you know that now there is uh, some other formulas like uh, a square minus b square is a minus b into a plus b and uh, similarly um, there are some more formula like a plus b plus c whole square is equal to what? That will be a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca like this. Also some more formula about a minus b whole q. a plus b whole q is a q plus b q plus 3a square b plus 3ab square and that further can be written as a plus a q plus b q plus 3 a b into a plus b so this is one formula another one is a minus b whole q is equal to a q plus b q minus b q a q minus b q minus b q minus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square that further can be written as a q minus b q minus 3 a b a minus b similarly uh, if somewhere it is required then we can write here that a q minus b q is equal to a q minus b q is a minus b whole q plus 3 a b a minus b and a q plus b q is equal to what what can be written this is just derived from here only right now so a q plus b q can be written as a plus b whole q minus 3 a b so this is just derivation of these two this one is derivation from here and this one is derivation from here so uh, we can use it some factor form also is required that is uh, a q plus b q can be written as a plus b plus b square and also a q minus b q is a minus b into a q a square plus a b plus b square so these are some apart from this basic formula what you have uh, previously that's just a reminder one uh, one more formula is there uh, let me remind you that is a q plus b q plus c q if there is like this then a plus b plus c let me write here a q plus b q plus c q is equal to 3 a b c if a plus b plus c is equal to 0 right now so it is about linear equation linear equation linear equation is what any equation in form of x and y a x plus b y plus c is equal to 0 is a linear equation linear equation right now where x and y are variable similarly there is where a b c constants and x and y are variable and x and y are variables right 
it represent always a straight line remember this it represent a straight line a straight line so this is the equation of a straight line remember this now uh, there are quadratic equation some knowledge about quadratic equation is also required so here i would like to write here quadratic equation so quadratic equation is what let me write here quadratic equation right and uh, you know the general form of quadratic equation general form of quadratic equation is quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 uh, a b c are constants are constants the value of x can be determined by another character that is called discriminant here is another character that is called discriminant there is a term that is called discriminant discriminant equal to b square minus 4ac what is a here where a is coefficient of coefficient of x square b is nothing else but coefficient of x and c is nothing else but constant term constant constant term right c is constant term so here d can be determined as b square minus 4ac and that will basically determine the nature of the roots so the value of x the value of x are called roots of equation a roots of equation zero value of x is equal to zero which will bring which will vanish the equation vanish the equation right now vanish the equation means bring g to zero when d is real and unequal real and unequal right now so these are the three the value of x can be determined the value of x can be determined either by factor method either by factor method or by quadratic formula right so here is a quadratic so quadratic formula is quadratic formula formula is given by is x is equal to minus b plus minus root under d by 2a and remember what is d where d is where d is and b square minus 4ac right so this is a quadratic formula so there are two values there are two values of x values of x that is minus b plus root b upon 2a and minus b minus root b upon 2a are called roots of equation are called roots of the equation roots of the equation let it be represented let it be represent by two symbols by two symbols alpha and beta symbols alpha and beta so therefore alpha is minus b plus root d by 2a and beta is minus b minus root d by 2a so these are the two ways
now their characteristics to be calculated so characteristics of root characteristics of roots roots first sum of roots that is alpha plus beta sum of roots this b plus root b by 2a and the second one is minus b minus root b by 2a so a 2a to l is out you know so what is that minus 2b by minus 2a 2 to cancel and what is that b by a so there <coughs> remember this alpha plus beta is minus b by a you can remember this value alpha plus beta h minus b by a so this is okay now product of roots h product of roots product of roots is what product of roots is alpha into beta that is minus b plus root b by 2a into minus b minus root b by 2a so what will happen in that case this will be minus of b square that is minus of b whole square into minus root b whole square that is b upon 2a so that will be b square minus b square minus 4ac b is b square minus 4ac upon 2a these two are cancels and here what will happen 2a into 2a so that is 4a square so 4a and 4a will cancel and what is that c by a so product of roots is c by a so remember this the product of roots is c by a so we have to learn this one also product of roots is c by a so these are uh, something which you have studied in class 10 definitely but uh, there is uh, no problem uh, everybody knows that and uh, what i need to do something more is that we have to uh, learn about graphs of graphs of say graphs of equations linear equations and quadratic equations so for linear equation, linear equation, <coughs> for linear equation, x is equal to some constant, x is equal to constant, is a line parallel to y axis, x is equal to some constant, is a line parallel to y axis. For example, <coughs> Let me draw some graphs. If it is here, say this is x axis and y axis, say the graph is about this is y axis. Let me write. This is y axis, this is x axis, x dash, and y dash. Begin and x is equal to 2. Suppose we have to write x is equal to 2 is a line. So x is equal to 2 is a line that will be parallel to y axis. Here, if I draw a line that will be parallel to y axis, right now. So that will be x is equal to 2. This is a line which will be parallel to y axis. Got it? So this line is called x is equal to 2. This line is described as x is equal to 2. It will be parallel to y axis. Similarly, here if I write x is equal to minus 2, then that will be a line which will be parallel to y axis. So this is it. Second thing is that <coughs> y is equal to constant is a line x axis that you should know y is equal to constant is a line parallel to y axis so x axis y is equal to constant is a line parallel to x axis if i draw a line here 
see in the center line say this one is x y axis isn't it this is x axis this is x dash right this one is y axis and this one is y dash so y is equal to 2 say if i want to write a line this is 1 this is 2 and y is equal to 1 then what will be line there will be line there will be parallel to y axis like this that would be a line this is a line which is parallel to x axis that is called y is equal to 1 this line is described as y is equal to 1 because this point is 1 line passes through 1 so this is y is equal to then if there is y is equal to minus 1 or y is equal to minus 2 then we have a line like this is a line that is described as y is equal to minus 2 right now. so this is what line is y is equal to minus 2 so these are the lines which is parallel to x axis or y axis parallel to x axis or y axis if only one variable is there <clears throat> if there are two variables and both of them are present graph of third one is graph of both the values are there ax plus by plus c ax plus by plus c then graph of then it will be a line this will be a graph and uh, it is a line that represent what this is a line x axis x dash y axis and y dash ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 this is a represent a is b y plus c of x and y in the nature of line can be this side or this side or this side you know so there are so many things which uh, we will learn and uh, further this is a line which will intersect this point of a and b where they intersect say this is a and this one is b a and b are called a and b are called point of intersection point of intersection on x axis and y axis respectively x axis and y axis respectively respective okay now let us learn graph of graph of quadratic equation quadratic equation equation ax square x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 now consider the following case h. case first what is that graph of ax square plus bx plus c if uh, a is say positive a is positive then graph of ax square plus bx plus c is vertically upward vertically upward upward right then there will be following cases further arises if a is greater than 0 and first case is b is greater than 0 as well then graph of the function will be here like things a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0 so a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0 in that case since b is greater than 0 so graph of the function will be here like uh, it will intersect vertically upward it will represent a parabolic graph and it will intersect at two different points a and b you know so two different points it will intersect a and b at this side right now so a and b are the two values where they will intersect it may be on this side it may be opposite side as well so a and this is 
make me draw this. This is y. Value of a and b where the intersect x axis are called roots of the equation. Say it is x1, comma 0 and this point is x2, comma 0. Then x1 and x2 are called roots of the equation that is alpha and beta. So here x1 and x2 are two roots, two real roots, are two real roots of this and graph is vertically upward. Uh, remember the minimum value it has graph has maximum value because graph will go anywhere upward direction so there is no maximum value of y but minimum value is here and that is the minimum value of this graph at this point age remember the minimum value minimum value of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to minus b upon 4a at x is equal to minus b by 2a. Remember d is what? b square minus 4ac. Right now? So minimum value is 4ac minus b square you can write at this. So remember this. The second point is when d is equal to 0 then how the graph can be plotted. So when d is equal to 0, then graph of the function will be like here. If d is 0, then um, graph of the function will be, if d is 0, let me draw only one, this one. It can be anywhere in x axis and y axis both, but I am writing here x axis, y axis, positive direction only. It can be anywhere, negative. I am avoiding this one. So, in this way, the graph will be just touches the, it will just touch the x axis. It will just touch x axis. This is the graph. Graph of this. It will touch it at x is equal to minus b by 2a, and there is only one value. And therefore, we can say both the roots are equal. In this case, the roots of the roots of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero are equal equal and each one is equal to h equal to minus b by 2a right so this is a graph now the third one is here if i go for the third one third case that when d is less than 0, when d is less than 0, then in that case, graph of the function will be like a, this will be the graph, and curve will be, curve will be neither touch x-axis nor intersect x-axis, but it will be moving away from x-axis, right? Huh? It is a vertically upward, so it will be like this. Right now. Something better. Okay, so this will be a graph here. Right now. Oh, something like this. Okay. Let me draw this. No, this will be a graph. That is a graph of this function, and that will be uh, neither touch x axis. This is the graph of x square plus bx plus c and that is equal to y. So y cannot be equal to 0 under any case uh, value of y is 0 on x axis only so it will neither touch x axis and nor touch y axis and therefore there is no regret. Since graph of ax square plus bx plus c neither neither touches x axis touches x axis nor intersect x axis intersect x axis hence ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero has no roots right that is what the condition has been given that there is no roots i hope you have got this point Right. So 
neither touches nor intercept. Let me make it more clear. Touches. Okay. Now the second case is there that when d is less than 0. Case 2. When d is less than 0, a is less than 0. When a is less than 0, then what will happen? In that case, then graph of the curve, graph of the curve is downward. Curve graph of the curve is downward. Curve is downward. Downward. Right now. In that case, the graph will be downward and the max, maximum value will be there. The maximum value, value of ax square plus bx plus c is minus b by 2a at x is equal to minus b by a, right, minus b by 2a. So, minus b by 4a, in fact, 4a, write it, at x is equal to minus b by 2a. So, remember this and now let us plot the graph of all these functions. So, here the case first, first time, that is 1. When d is greater than 0, in that case, the graph of the function will be downward. See, this one is function and anywhere it can be, in fact, not only necessary that it will be like 4 x is to be drawn, only first quadrant can be also drawn, x axis, x dash, y dash and the graph of function is like this they will be downward but they will intersect at both the points right this one is a this one is b so here is the maximum value that is x is equal to minus b by 2a and maximum value is nothing else but uh, minus b by 4 that is 4ac minus b square upon 4 so this is the maximum value in that case a and b the point of intersection a and b this is x1 comma 0 and this point say x2 comma 0. Here the graph of the curve, graph of the curve intersect x axis at two distinct point, distinct points x1 and x2. Hence, ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 has two distinct root, two distinct root, two unequal roots x1 and x2, two unequal roots x1 and x2. Right now? Second case, case 2, case 2, when d is equal to 0, in that case, the graph will be vertically downward, right? So, graph is downward, but it will touch x-axis, okay? graph is vertically downward and it will touch x-axis, say like this. So, in this case, there will be this is y axis, this is x dash, x axis, and this is y dash. And graph will touch this. So, this is a graph of parabola of ax square plus bx plus c. Why is this? And it will touch it at this point. So, this point will be determined as x is equal to minus b by 2a and it will touch it similar to what we had read earlier. So, here <coughs> since graph of 
ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 touches the x axis hence both the roots are equal both the roots are equal roots are equal to minus b by 2a now consider the third case and in third case when d is less than 0 then graph of the curve will neither touch x axis nor intersect x axis but it will be <coughs> like this it will neither y axis this is y dash x dash and x axis and graph of this will be like this here this is the parabolic graph of x square plus bx plus c x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 0 or that is y is equal to this so this is a graph x square since here neither it touches x axis nor touches y axis and therefore there is no roots since it neither touches x axis nor intersect nor intersect x axis therefore therefore no roots no real roots okay so i hope you got it now one more thing uh, you need to learn here that graph will uh, when write a note the note is When d is equal to d is less than 0, then no real roots means there are imaginary roots. Then there are imaginary roots. No real roots, but there are imaginary roots. There are imaginary roots. No real roots is called an imaginary roots. Right? So keep this in mind. Imaginary okay so one more thing you need to know that is a binomial theorem application of binomial theorem binomial theorem of algebra is very useful so you have to learn this in fact binomial theorem is given for two variables and uh, you will learn this x plus y to the power n is n c 0 x to the power n plus n c 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus n c 2 y plus n c 2 x to the power n minus 2 y square plus n c 3 x to the power n minus 3 y to the power 3 and similarly uh, up to n c n right now y to the power n so you will notice one thing that power of x is decreases here successively n n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 and power of y is here 0 absent that is 0 then here power is 1 then 2 then 3 power is increasing and finally power is n so power of y is uh, increasing what is this c 0 that we will learn in combination this meaning but you have not to learn this one this is just for reference Similarly, here if I write here 1 plus x to the power n instead of x, y is plus in place of y there is x or in place of y there is 1, then we can write this expansion as n c 0 1 to the power n that is 1 plus n c 1 x plus n c 2 x square n c 3 x cube and still n c n x to the power n. If you simplify this, this n c 0, then that will come up as 1 plus x to the power n, n c 0 means 1, plus n c 1 is n, n x 
plus n into n minus 1 upon 2 factorial. What is factorial? That I'll tell you. n c3 is n into n minus 1, n minus 2 upon 3 factorial. Like this, this is the expense. Factorial, what is factorial? So let me explain a bit about factorial. Factorial means two factorial, just simply try to understand one to two, product of two two. Three factorial is one into two into three. Four factorial means one into two into three into four. This is etc. So this is meaning till now you understand like this, right now. So this is one. And remember, zero factorial is one, and one factorial is one also. 0 factorial is 1. So you must remember this. Right now. These are useful. And uh, no need to learn why this happened. Now the main thing, this was the background of this binomial theorem. So main thing you have to learn for purpose of physics. If modulus of x is less than 1, that is, if x lies between minus 1 to 1, then 1 plus x to the power n can be written as 1 plus x to the power n can be written as 1 plus nx plus n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial x square. This is the condition plus n into n minus 1 n minus 2 up to 3 factorial x cube. And since this is less than 1, so whenever the power will increase, the value will be negligible. So since modulus of x is less than x1 then with increasing power increasing power of x power of x the value of value of x square x cube x4 are decreasing decreasing and become negligible and becomes so small that it can be can be neglected neglected in that case 1 plus x to the power n can be written as 1 plus n x approximately right now 1 plus x to the power n can be written as 1 plus n x remember this similarly if there is 1 minus x to the power n so in place of x we will put minus x so that will be 1 minus nx and if i will write here 1 plus x to the power minus n in that case also it will be equivalent to 1 minus nx and 1 minus x to the power minus n in that case also it will be equivalent to 1 plus nx so, if x is very small, in that case only, this can be. So, these are some useful tips and that you must remember right now. So, I hope you got this. This is all about the algebra that you need to learn before discussing questions of uh, uh, before proceeding and before solving questions of physics. So, thank you very much and I hope you understood this. The basic knowledge of algebra which will be applicable in physics till then god bless keep watching and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you thank you very much god bless